All right, today we're going to take some chenille stems and make some teddy bears for the dolls in the dollhouse. Stay tuned and see how fast and easy this project is. All right, now I looked, there's a lot of ways to make these little bears, and this is the way I make them. Uh, they're pretty easy, they take some practice, and quite frankly, no matter how many times you make them, no two are gonna look alike. So to make these, you need two chenille stems, any color. Uh, I wanted to find some fairly light ones to do the video with. You'll need a measure of some kind. I got this little clear ruler. I find a uh, dotting tool is really handy, you'll see that in a minute. And you'll need something for eyes, which we'll get to later, and depending on your eyes, you might need tweezers. So we're going to start by taking our first chenille stem and bending over one and a quarter inches. I like to put my dotting tool here and wrap. We're forming the nose. That's our first thing we're gonna form. And quite frankly, keeping track of where this nose is is probably one of the hardest parts of the whole thing. All right, now we're going to kind of work our, our chenille stem back behind our nose, and we're going to make little ears. And at this point, I always think the face is going to turn out looking like Alf. If you're familiar with that old TV show, you'll know what I'm talking about. Kind of looks like Alf. Now I like to wrap this long tail around a couple of times. I want to make a neck. Now, once again, we're going to fold over. We're going to, from the center, where it crosses that line, we're going to fold over at one and a quarter inches. We're going to go the other way. We're going to fold at one and a quarter inches. And now this one needs to kind of get out of the way. Now, these are going to be folded in half, and you've got one arm and a second arm. Now keep these pieces separate. We're going to need to know where those are, and I see one of my ears is way bigger, but it's, now well, maybe I can move it around. This little guy is going to have one ear bigger than the other. So we're going to set that aside. Now, our second chenille stem. Try and get my ruler here where it doesn't bump the camera. Three fourths of an inch and fold over. Fold it there, fold that in half, and repeat. Now you're going to have an, it's going to look kind of like an M. I like to come up around that. So we've got, those are our, those are our legs. We're going to form our feet from that later. Now this little original short piece that's attached to our head, that's our body. We're gonna come down, we're gonna lay that against that piece sticking out of there. Okay, hopefully that makes sense. Now, and this is where you almost feel like you need like three hands. I like to wrap around once, and then down between the legs and back up. Now take this long piece that was left over from the legs and we're going to wrap. This is going to make his belly. And depending on how much you squish him together at this point, whoops, how, how tall he's going to be. This one's going to be a little taller because I had a little more sticking out. All right. This is a skinnier teddy bear than some of my others. And just wrap that around until you run out of that. Now, these feet, grip as close as you can to the end and fold up a little foot. And do the same thing with the other foot. Now, we need to put some eyes and a nose on. You have two options. You can use little beads. These are the little tiny, hold that up there, the little tiny glass uh, seed beads that are really tiny. You can glue those on. I did that on a couple. But my favorite way, although you have to wait for it to dry, is with scribbles 
shiny black paint. Now remember when you use Scribbles paint, always put some out off of your project. Now I will admit the eyes look better made with the beads, but this is a lot easier. And I felt on the video it would show up a little easier how to do it. Now, don't let him fall face forward or touch his face until that dries. Let me cap this and I'll show you some I've been playing with earlier. This one has beads on his face. This one actually fell down <laughs> probably is right after I put his uh, face on. That's why I laid this guy down on his back because I had sat this one up and this one has also has the scribbles and then I used one of those really fluffy chenille stems and made this guy and he also has the beads. Alright so that's how easy it is to make these little chenille stem teddy bears. They're kind of addictive. It's kind of like potato chips. You can't stop at just one. You just want to keep going and I'm thinking we could make the ears longer and make little bunnies and oh, I can see all kinds of things here. This this could be a this could be a problem. But there I love how they each turn out different. Every face is different no matter how much you try to make them the same. Like this guy almost looks like a bunny. Hmm. Um so I hope you enjoyed the project today. If you haven't found my Facebook group, be sure and do that because I at least post some teaser pictures over there when I get the video filmed and ready to go, um, long before you get to see it online sometimes. And I also ask questions over there and it's, it's probably the fastest way to get a hold of me. Also check the blog post for better pictures than I can put on the video and have fun with your minis. I'll talk to you later. Bye.